What is going on, world? I am the Hungarian Experiment, and I have been experimenting around with doing intermittent fasting for over five and a half years now. Personally, ever since I began manipulating my diet from six to eight small meals, and I decided to push it down into a tiny eating window of only about four to seven hours, I am more in control of my life. I feel more energetic and lively, and I can stay lean year round while still enjoying the foods and the alcohol that I like. I used to think that I knew and understood a lot of things about food and nutrition, but after implementing fasting into my life by not eating any food for 16 to 20 hours a day, my knowledge base increased immensely because I really got to feel how different foods and different amounts of those foods affected my body. But along with all these great benefits that intermittent fasting helped in terms of my lifestyle and building up my knowledge base, I also was able to put on a significant amount of muscle with absolutely no bulking necessary. Just last week, I actually did my one year transformation photos where I document my body year after year to see the changes that occur from my experiments. If you are interested, I have a great video displaying the changes my body went through after just one year of intermittent fasting. But in this video, I thought I would display the amazing muscle growth that my body went through after three years of doing strict intermittent fasting. Now, as the title of the video states there, I did not need to bulk or even go above 11 or 12% body fat to gain this muscle, which pretty much goes against the grain of what most typical bodybuilders would tell you if you ask them for advice in terms of muscle growth. Most likely they're gonna tell you to bulk up and put on unnecessary fat just to gain some muscle. In my opinion, this is very unnecessary, especially if your goal is just to put on some muscle mass. And in terms of your hormones, this may actually hold you back from getting the most optimal amount of muscle that you can. And this is exactly what my YouTube channel is about trying to find the factors in life that help us to optimize our hormones as much as we possibly can naturally. So let's see how my body has changed over the last three years without going over 11 to 12% of body fat and having visible abs year round. So all these pictures that you're gonna see here starting on the left is 2013 and the right pictures will be 2016. We're gonna start off with my back here because that is where I focused a lot of my weak point training over this last year and a half. So this is where you will see the most physical change to my body. As you can see here on the left side, my shoulders are very hunched forward. I know I'm kind of leaning forward, but in order to flex my lats, that is what I needed to do. So as you can see there, my shoulders are rolled forward. This caused my traps to roll forward as well which affected a whole bunch of my lifts. And I believe, which I will be discussing in a video called My Limitations coming up in the next week or so here, due to my limitations, due to me being flat foot, this affected everything in my body all the way up. So because I was trying to overcome my flat footedness and I was walking differently, this affected my development in all areas of my body. So as I grew up and grew older, it affected my hips and affected my, and my hips led to affecting my back and my back led to affecting my shoulders. So after seven to 10 years of just lifting for my ego, just going into the gym and trying to lift as hard as I can and just trying to push and shift the weight rather than actually lifting it through the muscle groups that I was trying to work out. I got significant muscle mass in some areas of my body while the other areas of my body that I, wa I wasn't able to hit as easily because of my lopsidedness or due to my limitations, those areas didn't see much growth. So. Sticking strictly to muscle growth here, as you can see in my back, my back columns, there's, there's a significant change to all areas of my back. And over these last three years, I was not focusing on my back at all. Besides trying to fix my form of my deadlift and trying to bring up my posture, I barely worked out my back besides just trying to maintain it. And in my opinion here, I, my V is a lot straighter. I have uh, 
just below my trap so the middle back there it's not just like a clump of muscle has gathered it's more symmetrical it's more even looking and that is what I was going for in terms of my back I always felt that because of how I lifted and because I was lifting for my ego my back got amazing results while and my shoulders got amazing results while my chest lacked so this is all things that I was considering over these last three years while I was putting on this muscle mass. And now moving away from the back, we have a side pose here. So from this side pose, what I believe you can significantly see in a change of muscle is my chest. Right where the nipple line is, you can see that. And right where between the nipple and my shoulder. There's significant muscle growth there in my opinion. And even if you look at the pec that's kind of farther away, you can see that up higher, right below the my delts and my shoulders, there it's more of um how you describe as as rounded rather than flat, and I have more depth in between each pec. Along with that, because I fix my posture, my shoulders triceps and biceps they just look better when I am flexing even though again I barely work them out but but as you can see here the left picture it looks like I have significant tricep and a decent shoulder but if you look at the right picture I feel I, ha I my rear delts have come in a lot better and my bicep looks more elongated so to say uh, in the past, I just worked on, you know, getting nice peak on my biceps rather than having nice, long, big, full biceps, which I believe is quite clearly displayed here. Along with that, if we move down my serratus and obliques, I know you can't see them as well in the, the left picture, the 2013 picture there. But again, that is because my posture has improved. I, I can actually flex my serratus and obliques without having to completely like throw my body offline just to show them and in my opinion you can definitely see some muscle growth in terms of my obliques and serratus moving on here again this is not the best picture because they are quite different this is three years in between these pictures and for one year i experimented heavily with doing stomach vacuums which is why I believe that you guys can see my rib cage there a lot better and one of the things that I was trying to prove and show with this picture that because of my limitations I had like a very odd shaped gut my lower obliques stood out and that is not what I was looking for. I, I didn't want like a pear shaped body. I want to have a nice V, which is what I believe is now occurring with the stomach vacuum helping my posture. From this angle and from this pose too, I also want to display my serratus. I feel like my serratus right under my lats there have grown immensely. And then we'll move on to the most muscular pose as it's described, I believe. Here, I believe you can see significant change to my chest. Now, again, I was focusing heavily on my weak points. So over this last year and a half, I was barely working out my shoulders, my traps, and those areas of my body. I was just maintaining them, maybe doing them once or twice every two weeks while I heavily focused on chest. One experiment I did over 2015 there, I tried to work out my chest every single day for 10 days straight to see the type of recovery I would have with intermittent fasting. And in my opinion here, you can greatly see that within three years, I managed to make a significant change to my chest. It is a lot fuller now. I did not need to bulk. I did not need to put on any unnecessary fat to gain this, to gain some muscle mass in my chest. And here is just another picture up, you know, not being side by side, so you can really see the change. Now, look where the 15 is, my uh, on my tattoo there, where the 15 is. Like, there's just. In my opinion, a lot more muscle in that little area where else in the top picture, it's kind of concave. You can see my collarbone a lot. Here, that's what I was trying to fill out, was trying to fill out that the indents where my uh, collarbone was and the separation in between my chest. I was really getting that um, middle and lower chest going while still making sure I was trying to get that upper chest gains. And then here's just uh, another picture with kind of a similar pose where I believe you can see that change. 
Well, there you have it, world. Over the last three years, I did not need to bulk up. I didn't need to put on any fat at all to make this change to my body and put on muscle mass, noticeable muscle mass year after year. Obviously, I didn't have a huge and drastic change to my muscle groups because at the beginning of these three years there, I had already been lifting for seven to eight years. And also, I'm not putting on this muscle so I can go stand on a stage covered with layer upon layer of spray tan just to stand next to other dudes in a thong to compare my body. I'm putting on muscle so I can enjoy my life, so I can be confident in myself and my body and I can carry that confidence on into other aspects of my life which is going to help me build the most skill and knowledge I possibly can while I'm on this earth. Lifting helped me to become the man I am today. I want to continue this journey and to keep putting on solid muscle mass, but, and as I believe I proved in this video here today, I don't think you need to bulk or put on unnecessary fat just to gain some muscle mass and just to get some results on your body. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here, if you agree with me or you disagree with me, please let me know in the comment section below and on your way down there, make sure you go hit that like button. I am the Hungarian experiment.